was a big part of the story because Bell Blues outshot Oshawa in every period. They really have not relented. O'Shea handled by Cooper. This Even when it's 6 nothing, Hutch, they keep coming. Well, this is the stuff here that we don't need. You know, Cooper had that uh, puck frozen up, and the Oshawa general player still, you know, goes right to the net and lands on top of him. And the Belleville players, they just can't put up with that. That's exactly what's going on out here. Referee Mark Hicks wants uh, all of that gathering to disperse. I don't know if he plans to hand out any justice here or if they'll just untangle these players and get on with it. Some pretty short fuses on that Oshawa bench right now. I imagine Coach Dan Butler's got about the shortest one, too. 2,933 is the attendance this afternoon. And Daniel Cleary, again, the uh, subject of Oshawa fever, and he's going off. And many of the fans here this afternoon, they're just waiting for that final buzzer. There's a good shot of that. One of those nice hairdos. Okay, here we go now. Metcalf and... And LaCour. Well, something was going to come out of this, and this is it. Robin LaCour and Jason Metcalf. Well, the frustration has built all day long for Oshawa, and they're finally getting something. There was a nice uppercut there by LaCour. Metcalf lands the right. Another blonde hair underneath that lid. <laughs> Somebody's leaking a little bit out there now. I see a little blood on the ice. Fans love it. Now the fans are loving all aspects of this game, at least with the exception of a few Oshawa fans. Let's go to a quieter spot. Only down in the studio and Don Martin. Well, let's wait a minute here, and then we'll go chat with Don about what's coming up in our post game. Well, Jack, we will have the, uh, actually, the Wittenauer play of the game, and the Greb Sodiak play of the period, the Molson Cup three stars, but it looks to me with 4.15 to go, we're getting a lot of, a lot of payback time at the moment. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of extracurricular pushing and shoving, you know, during the game itself, a lot of, uh, a lot of jawing, a lot of players, most of it uh, aimed at uh, Jason Switzer. And of course, they, uh, they still, uh, hold him uh, responsible but uh go ahead hit on, on Dupuis, Dupuis. but the yeah, hard feelings uh, carrying over from player to player and each each have their own little grudges to settle before this uh, series is over well it's easy to get a grudge out there because you play the 